am Paul Basolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center at ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at Test 1, Module 2, Reading and Writing for the Linear Digital SAT. Number 16 reads, Many archaeologists will tell you that categorizing excavated fragments of pottery by style, period, and what objects they belong to relies not only on standard by criteria, but also on instinct developed over years of practice. So what do we have in the opening sentence? Archaeologists are like, yeah, there's this standard criteria, and that might be style, period, what objects they belong to. But it's also like, hey, I th I'm thinking this one goes with that one. And so instinct, which is very distinctly human, it's not a non-human thing. Next sentence. In a recent study, however, researchers trained a deep learning computer model on thousands of images of pottery fragments and found that it, the computer, could categorize them, the pottery fragments, as accurately as a team of expert archaeologists. Some archaeologists have expressed concern that they might be replaced by such computer models, but researchers claim that outcome is highly unlikely. So we've got two groups here. We've got the researchers and we've got the archaeologists. Archaeologists are like, yeah, I use some instinct. And then the computer, the researchers find that a computer could do the job just as accurately as them. So now the archaeologists like, oh no, am I going to have a job? Am I going to be replaced by a computer? And the researchers say, no, nah, it's probably very little chance that's going to happen. So it's finding if true would most directly support the researcher's claim. Answer choice A. In the researcher's study, the model was able to categorize the pottery fragments much more quickly than the archaeologist could. Um, this is wrong for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's talking about accuracy, not quickness. And it does, does not say that one could do it more accurately or more quickly than the other, but it just says as accurately as the other. Okay, yeah, as accurately as is right there. So A is gone. Answer is B. In the researcher's study, neither the model nor the archaeologists were able to accurately categorize all pottery fragments that were presented. Uh, that's wrong also. Because when you say one thing is as accurate as another, it implies that the first thing is accurate and the next thing is also accurate. Answer choice C. A survey of archaeologists showed that categorizing pottery fragments limits the amount of time they can dedicate to other important tasks that only human experts could do. Now, we've got to think about this one for a minute. And this is a difficult question. Well, let's say the, let's look at answer choice C. Let's say that, hey, the uh, computer could categorize the fragments as accurately as an archaeologist can. So the computer might replace the archaeologist for that task. And if categorizing pottery fragments limits the amount of time that the archaeologists can dedicate to other important tasks, then the archaeologist is still going to have a job because the archaeologist is still going to be doing those other important tasks, which makes sense that the researchers would claim that the outcome that the archaeologists are going to be replaced by computer models is highly unlikely. So it looks like answer choice C is actually a good answer choice. Answer is D. A survey of archaeologists shows that few of them received dedicated training on how to properly categorize pottery fragments. Well, regardless whether they did or whether they, they didn't, it does say that they're expert archaeologists, so they do become expert archaeologists. So it's either um, not taking into consideration those who did not have training or those who did not have training uh, eventually become experts just from being on the job for so long. C is your best answer here. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with these tough type of reading comprehension questions. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, 
leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.